Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss how to find the sum of an infinite GP. So without further ado, let's begin with a topic. Now before moving on to the infinite GP, let us first discuss what is a GP. So a GP is a type of sequence where each succeeding term is produced by multiplying each preceding term by a fixed number which is called the common ratio. Now in general, if the first term is a and the second term is ar, then my GP will look like a, ar, ar square, ar cube up to ar n minus 1 where n is the number of terms. So a will be my first term, ar by a will give me my common ratio which is equal to r and n is the number of terms in the GP. Now let's take an example. So if my GP is like 3, 6, 12, 24 and so on, then my first term is 3 and my common ratio is equal to 6 by 3 which is equal to 2. Now we will see that this ratio is followed throughout the GP. 3 into 2 is equal to 6, 6 into 2 is equal to 12 and 12 into 2 is equal to 24 and so on and so forth and we can calculate that the next term after 24 will be 48 then 96 and then it will continue up to the number of terms given. Now this was some basic knowledge that was required to know the concept of infinite GP much better and now let's move on to the concept of infinite GP. So basically, if a GP consists of infinite number of terms, then the GP is known as the infinite GP. Now let's take an example of an infinite GP over here if my first term is 1 and my common ratio is half, then my second term must be 1 by 2, third term must be 1 by 4, fourth term must be 1 by 8 and so on and so forth up to infinity. Now the main topic of our discussion for today's video was to find the sum of an infinite GP. Now if you have to calculate the sum of an infinite GP, we can simply add all the numbers and get the sum but it is not practically possible because we cannot add infinite number of terms. So for that we have a very simple formula which is equal to a by 1 minus r where a is the first term and r is the common ratio and by this we can calculate the sum of an infinite gp. So I will say as infinity is equal to a by 1 minus r where both the terms a and r have the common meaning a is the first term and r is the common ratio. Now there is one restriction by using this formula and that is r must lie between the range of minus 1 and 1 and then only we can apply this formula to calculate the sum of the infinite gp. So this given formula of infinite gp is only valid for this given range and now let's solve some few examples that will build up our concept. As we have seen our first question, according to our given question the gp given to us is 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16 and so on and so forth up to infinity. Now we are told to find the sum of this infinite GP. Now first we have to check that whether we can apply a formula of a by 1 minus r because according to the restriction r must be between the range of minus 1 and 1. Now according to this 1 by 2 by 1 will give me my common ratio and that is equal to half. Now since r is between the range of minus 1 and 1 I can apply this formula and according to this formula my a is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 by 2. So my final value is equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 by half and that implies my sum is equal to 2. Moving on to a second question. According to a second question we have to find the sum of the following sequence that is 3 to the power 1 plus 3 to the power 0 plus 3 to the power minus 1 plus 3 to the power minus 2 up to infinity. So you have to find the sum of this following sequence. Now we have to find a pattern so that we can apply the formula of infinite GP for this given case as well. Now I can see that 3 to the power 1 is equal to 3, 3 to the power 0 is equal to 1 because a to the power 0 is equal to 1 if a is not equal to 0, 3 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by 3, 3 to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 by 9. Now according to the following pattern, I can see that my next term will be 3 to the power minus 3 which is nothing but 1 by 27 and my next term will be 1 by 81 and so on and so forth my pattern will continue. Now if I look carefully I will find that my first term is 3 and my common ratio is 1 by 3 because if I see 1 divided by 3 will give me 1 by 3, 1 by 3 divided by 1 will give me 1 by 3, 1 by 9 divided by 1 by 3 will give me 1 by 3 and so on and so forth. So my first term is equal to 3 
and my common ratio is equal to 1 by 3. Now since r is between minus 1 and 1, I can apply the given formula of a by 1 minus r to find the sum of the infinite gp. So let's find out the sum. So according to the formula of a by 1 minus r, my sum of infinite gp is equal to 3 by 1 minus 1 by 3. And upon calculation, I'll find that this value will come as 9 by 2. So the sum of infinite gp is equal to 9 by 2. So let's do a quick summary of all the topics discussed in this video. So the sum of an infinite gp is basically given by the formula of a by 1 minus r, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio and r must lie between the range of minus 1 and 1 in order to use this formula. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy. Oh, 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 oh,